Hi everybody, I'm Chris with Fog Farms. Thanks for visiting us and checking out our tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to grow your own cat grass using our Lucky Kitty Home Growing Kit. Before we get started, I like to gather up the things that I'm gonna to need to put the kit together. So I have a glass bowl here. This is gonna be used for soaking my seeds. I've got plenty of lukewarm or room temperature water. I also have a sealable plastic bag, or you could use a small sealable Tupperware container. Just make sure that it seals tight and it's not too big. You don't wanna have so much air in the container that it's drying out the seeds while they're trying to germinate. I also have a timer. I like to use my phone, nice and easy, and everybody has one. Okay, let's get started. So I'm gonna deconstruct the kit. This sleeve is made out of non-coated paper, so it can be recycled or composted. The container itself is certified compostable plant fiber. So inside you're gonna find your directions. You're gonna find a bag of soil, which is an, also a compostable bag and you're gonna find your small bag of seeds. Okay, so step number one on your directions is to soak your seeds in a bowl for eight hours. We've got our bowl here. We're gonna just pour the seeds into the bowl. We're gonna take one cup of, again, lukewarm or room temperature water, and we are going to just pour that on top of the seeds. And we will set our timer for eight hours and hit start. Okay, so it's been eight hours and we're ready to drain the seeds. So I'm just going to pour all the water out over my little strainer here. Now, if you'd like, you can just use this bowl. You can cover it with saran wrap nice and tight and leave it in the bowl, or you can use a plastic bag and that's what I'm gonna do. there. I'm going to take a little bit of air out of the bag and seal it and this is ready for the next step. Okay, it's been 24 hours and we're ready to put the soil into the container and add a cup of water. So we're going to take our bag of soil. We're going to slowly and carefully pour it into the container. The soil is really fluffy and if you pour it too fast it can make quite a mess. I like to sort of tamp it down a bit as I go along. It does all fit in the container, but you just sort of have to press it down a little bit as you go. So we want to make sure that this is sort of even along the top and just lightly press it down. And then you're ready to add your water. Okay, so I've got one cup, again, lukewarm or room temperature water, and I'm gonna slowly pour this onto the soil and give it time to absorb as I'm pouring it in, just so that I don't make a mess. Just nice and slowly until you've got a full cup of water. You can see if I went too fast here, it would overflow. And there we go. Okay, so we've let this soak in. I'm just gonna come back and tamp it down and make sure that all the dry spots have got water on them. And we're just gonna be placing the seeds right on top here. So we wanna tamp this down and make a nice flat surface. That's nice and moist for the seeds. Okay, so I'm gonna just grab my seeds here. Uh, again, these have been germinating for 24 hours now and I checked to make sure that I've got little white tails so I know that they're ready to plant. So I'm going to take them out of the bag and I'm gonna spread them evenly, just right on top of the soil. We'll just spread them out nice and evenly.
And then we're gonna lightly mist these with some water once they're all spread out. Okay, so we're ready to put the lid on. Um, one tip is that if you'd like, you can use your plastic bag for a little extra moisture barrier. So we're just gonna place it on top there before we put the lid on. And like so. For a little extra weight, I like to use a book. I'm gonna place the book right on there. And then we're just gonna sit this in a warm place for 48 hours. Okay, so it's been 48 hours and we're re ready to remove the lid. So we're just gonna take this off and remove our lid here. And we see we've got some stems and some roots coming through. They look great. Okay. So now we are ready to place this in a windowsill for five days. Um, when you pick this up, you can feel the weight of it. Um, it probably won't need any water for the first couple of days, but just check it, check the weight. If it starts to get light, you can add a little bit more water. Um, and you'll notice too that the bottom of this container is starting to feel a little bit wet and that's okay. It's not gonna leak through, but because it is compostable material, it is absorbing the water. So what I like to do is when I put it in the sill, I'm gonna take the lid and flip it over and that's gonna create a little barrier between the bottom of my container and the windowsill that you put it in. Thanks for visiting us at Fog Farms today and watching our tutorial. I hope you liked it and found it informative. If you have any questions, just send us an email at the email address at the bottom of your screen. Thank you so much for your purchase and I hope your lucky kitty loves this cat grass. So here's a little tip for you. We've got some cat grass that's getting a little bit overgrown, starting to look a little bit messy. So if you wanna tidy it up, you can just trim it. So you're just gonna kind of gather it up like this and just give it a snip. Now your cat grass is nice and neat and tidy and what you've got here, you can just throw in a bowl for your cat if you'd like. Mm -hmm.